and hello from welcome back to another video from Everything Sim. Today we're back in Microsoft Flight Sim at London Gatwick. We are of course in the Phoenix A320 again, so we'll go ahead and get that started up. So we got the GPU on here now. We've got the ADIS, so one, two, then three. Switch out to capped, ground control on, cruise supply on, fuel pumps, half of them on, battery switches on. Packs low, packs off, uh, set the temperature, play around with the lighting a little bit. There we go, so the screens are in self test. Ground hello, you leave 43, give you on 130. Not quite sure why he's calling Cabot Ground on the Unicom, but there we are. So we'll go ahead and get the MCU started once we've checked our flight plan. And we're just going to go ahead and get our frequencies in as well for when we need them, or one of them anyway, for Star Unicorn for now. So we'll request the init data request. I've got the three clicks there, so the systems are self testing. That notification sound you can, might be able to hear here and there uh, that just went off that is uh, from VPilot, the VATSIM software. So if you hear that going off, then uh, don't be alarmed, that's probably just a uh, aircraft typing in, or ATC. So I'm just on Volanta right now, which is where my flight plan is, and I'm just checking all the necessary information we need, so flight number, what be cruise cruise flight level and cost index for now. Uh, then we'll move over to the flight plan page after that. You may also notice from the length of this video it's going to be uh, considerably shorter. Um, I've tried to compress it down into about 30 odd minutes. My first flight sim video I did not too long ago now. Uh, it was over an hour and a half and a lot of it was sort of still you know just sitting there not doing anything, not talking I've been waiting for like Vatsim or something like that, so I've compressed it down, kept it sharp, because uh, I got a little bit of, my first video didn't seem to do too well and I think it's because of that, and the um, one preceding that, the video preceding that about Microsoft Flight Sim did a little bit better and I managed to get that down to 40 minutes, so hopefully this one does pretty nicely considering it's only going to be about half an hour long or so. I uh, forgot to mention we are doing a route from Gatwick to Bilbao, so that's EGKK to LEBB. Uh, we're flying the A320 by Phoenix. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of Phoenix at the moment just because I'm a fan of the V2 Block 2 update with the IE engines. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you want to see another aircraft type to be flown. So we've got the PMDG 737-800, we've also got the 700, um, and we've also got the 900 as well for those sort of longer flights, maybe Istanbul to Heathrow, as Turkish Airlines say. Uh, so we've got a fair variety of aircraft, uh, but not massive at the moment because uh, we are awaiting two new aircraft at the moment. Might have seen over the last sort of couple of days fly by wire, or actually, it's uh, actually been PMDG if you want to speak chronologically. Um, they've released a, I think it was a two minute video, a preview on their PMDG 777 300ER. Bit of a mouthful there, isn't it? But um, yeah, they released a two minute preview on YouTube, which was um, sort of took the community back a little bit uh, in the sense that it was pretty cool. So it's something definitely to look forward to. Uh, and then ironically you have Fly By Wire, as I was about to mention. Uh, they <laughs> released a 10 minute, pre well they called it a preview, but um, it wasn't much of a preview really, it was more like a documentary. It felt like it was very in depth, it was very well done. Off their uh, Fly By Wire A380. Um, I think that sort of took the cake in terms of hype, seeing as we've been waiting for the A380 for a considerable amount of more time. Um, so that's something definitely to look forward to. Um, I will say I won't be, as soon as the A380 and the PMDG are released, um, I won't fly it on, I won't be posting YouTube videos on it immediately. 
uh, unfortunately because I'll be learning especially with the PMDG as well because it's so different to Airbus which I'm what I'm predominantly used to uh, I won't be I'll be learning the aircraft learning flows uh, standing operating procedures all that sort of stuff as opposed to flying it on VATSIM on YouTube so I think I'll learn the uh, two aircrafts first before I go on VATSIM and that but anyways let's tune into our VATSIM frequencies and get ready to call for clearance Longboat 7 8 Golf, Chris Taxi. Longboat 7 8 Golf, Taxi Holding Point Alpha 2, runway 26 left via Kilo, Papa and Alpha Sierra. Alpha 2 via Kilo, Papa, Alpha Sierra, you said Longboat 7 8 Golf. And Gavrik Ground, Wiz 287 Golf, that stands. Uh, sorry, 101, Type A320, the information Juliet requesting IFR to build out, please. With a 287 Golf, get with Grab, hello, cleared at Bilbao via Novmont 1, X ray departure, 26 left, squawk 3372, QNH1021. Clear to Bilbao as filed, runway 26 left, Novmont 1, X ray departure, squawk 3372, and QNH is 1021, 287 Golf. With a 287 Golf, read back correct. Get out of ground, Wiz 287 Golf at stand 101, ready for push and start. Wiz 287 Golf, stand 101, push and start approved, face east. Push and start approved, face east, 287 Golf, thank you. Get out of ground, easy 556, five, stand 28, we have A320. Information Juliet on board, and we'll get to IFR to ship card, please, into the five Easy 556, five, Gamma Grand, hello, stand by, number 2 for clearance. So we've had to do a manual pushback today because uh, GSX doesn't seem to want to be working. I've restarted it and all, but it uh, doesn't seem to be much luck with that. So uh, we'll do a manual pushback, it's not too bad. Um, I used to have to do it before I had GSX anyway, so it's not bad. Right now, 1200, I have a reroute for you, report ready to copy. I'm ready to copy right now, 1200. Ryanair 1200, reroute is in text for you, call me back if you can accept that route, break break, WISGO 1 November, Foxtrot, contact Gatwick Director, 126.825, goodbye. 126.825, WISGO 1 November, Foxtrot, thank you, bye bye. EZ556, cleared Stuttgart via MIMFO 1 mic departure, runway 26 left, squawk 0207, QNH 1021. Cleared the MIMFO 1 mic departure, um, 1021, uh, and 1207, uh, Easy 556 negative, squawk 0207. Squawking 0207. Easy 556, read back correct. So, pushback is complete, and we're going to get ourselves ready for taxi. Uh, so, that means getting our lights on, so we'll put our landing lights to off, so extended at least. We'll get the. And then we'll put the taxi and runway turn off lights on. Right now, one two zero zero. It's a reroute for you. Let me know if you can accept that routing. And what we're going to do now is just going to complete a quick flight control test. So full right, neutral, full left, neutral, full down neutral and full up and then we'll test the rudder so we'll do full right full left there we are that is the flight uh, control sorry flight control check complete it was just rolling off the tip of my tongue <laughs> and get with ground uh, whiz 287 golf ready for taxi whiz 287 Seven Golf, uh, caution, someone just disconnected in front of you, but taxi holding point Alpha 2, runway 26 left via Papa and Alpha Sierra. No problem, Wilco, but uh, taxi holding point Alpha 2, runway 26 left via Papa and Alpha Sierra, uh, 287 Golf. Taxi holding point Alpha 2, runway 26 left via Papa and Alpha Sierra, 
Yeah, we're ground missions, Tom Jet, 1123 at stand 66 left aircraft, boat 7378. I'm just coasting, I've marked an instant to Bulgaria with information, Juliet. Tom Jet, 1123 cleared Burgos via Nympho 1 mic departure, runway 26 left. Squawk 3470, QNH1021. Subject 1123, QNH1021. I'm fairly certain this EtherJet in front of us is going to cause a bit of problems, so we'll just wait here because I don't think our wings span will fit. Clear to the gas via Minfo 1 Mike Departure Squawk 3470 TH1021. Uh, Tom Jet 1123. Tom Jet 1123, read back correct. Deborah Grant, um, Griffin 3, Nana Delta, request start of a pushback gate 3 1. The cabin is now secure. Griffin 3, Nana Delta, stand 3 1, push and start approved, face west. Push and start approved phrasing with Frog Griffin 3 Nana Delta. Three, three, easy taxi. Easy 4 3, taxi holding point Alpha 2, runway 26 left via Papa and Alpha Sierra. Holding point Alpha 2 via Papa and Alpha Sierra, easy 4 3. With air 287 Golf, follow the EasyJet A320. Wilco, we'll following the EasyJet A320 287 Golf. There we go, so the uh, EasyJet has moved, moved out of our way now, we're moving, and uh, we'll release the parking brake and get going. He's quite speedy actually, <laughs> he's not hanging about is he? So yeah, 26 left uh, is our takeoff runway today. So it's a pretty nice one, pretty easy one to get to. I'm normally at this stand quite a bit just because I know it and um, I know the taxi route off by heart now. So we'll just go ahead and get taxi to the runway. Right now, one, two, zero, zero. You are cleared to Edinburgh via Lambourne 6 mic departure, runway 26 left. Squawk 6246. Clear to Edinburgh via LAM 6 mic departure, runway 26 left. Uh, squawk 6246, Ryanair 1200. Ryanair 1200, read back correct. Information Juliet, QNH 1021. Easy 4 tree, contact out with director 126 decimal 825, goodbye. 126 decimal 825, easy 4 3, bye bye. Patrick Grant, good day, Condor 992 with you on runway 08 left for Romeo. Condor 992, Gatwick Ground, hello, taxi Romeo Lima, hold short of Papa, expect stand 3 4. Taxi Romeo Lima, hold short of Papa, expect stand 34, Condor 992 Heavy. With air 287 Golf, contact Gatwick Director 126, decimal 825, goodbye. Contact Director 126825, always the 287 Golf, thank you very much and uh, have a good day. Hello, EZ43 with your last 30 hour. EZ43, Gabby Director, hello, traffic on a 6 mile final, service winds 190 degrees, 8 knots, 26 left, clear for takeoff. Okay, so it's off my 26 left, EZ43. EZ78, X ray, Foxtrot, descent altitude 1500 feet, then further with the glide path. 1500 feet of the glide, EZ78, X ray, Foxtrot. Good afternoon, got to the G5 for Fox Trot Guard. I was ready to get the information to leave this one in my two about Kilo to Lorica 64. EZ54 Fox Trot Golf Gatwick Director, hello, Vectors ILS approach runway 26 left. With no delay, descend now flight level 70. Vectors to the ILS runway 26 left with no delay, descend to the ILS 70. G5 for Fox Trot Guard, thank you. Easy 36 Tango Romeo, turn right heading 360 degrees, descent altitude 2000 feet. 
Greg heading 360, descend, descend 327, either 360 single or on the Alpha. And Gary Director, Wiz 287 Golf holding Alpha 2 on Alpha Sierra. Wiz 287 Golf, Gary Director, hello, behind the landing, EasyJet Airbus 320, line up 26 left behind via Alpha 1. Line up 26 left behind the landing 320, 287 Golf, thank you. Here we go, so we just got the landing aircraft just there, it's an easy jet. That's actually quite beautiful, I might go on the wing view. Easy 36 Tango Romeo, can see approach runway 26 left to number 2 with 1 departing ahead. Continue approaching number 2, 1, de one departure ahead, easy 36 Tango Romeo. Had to grab a little screenshot there, I'll probably use that as the... Uh Easy 540, uh, correction 54 Foxtrot Golf, leave timber heading 330 degrees. Leave timber heading 330 degrees, easy 54 Foxtrot Golf. Easy 54 Foxtrot Romeo, confirm the heading 330 degrees. 330 degrees, easy 54 Foxtrot Golf. Easy 784 X Trace Foxtrot, welcome to Gatwick, after vacating taxi second right onto Juliet. Second round, there we are, so we're just straightening ourselves up onto 26 left and we'll await clearance. With uh, 287 Golf, surface winds 190 degrees, 8 knots, 26 left, clear takeoff. Runway 26 left, clear for takeoff, run, uh, sorry, correction, Wiz 287 Golf, thank you. Easy 78 X ray, Fox Drop, contact ground 121 decibel 805, bye bye. 12005, easy 78 X-ray Foxtrot, see ya. Griffin 39 Delta, Gavik Director. Griffin 39 Delta on Alpha Nevada. Griffin 39 Delta, if able, if ready for departure, via Alpha 1, line up 26 left. We are able for Alpha 1 and line up runway 26 left for Griffin 39 Delta. Golf descent altitude 2500 feet to QNH 1021. Descent 2500 feet, CC 54 Foxtrot Golf, QNH 1021. CC 54 Foxtrot Golf, turn right heading at 360 degrees. Turn right heading at 360 degrees, CC 54 Foxtrot Golf. Griffin 39 Delta, surface winds 190 degrees, 8 knots, 26 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 26 left for Griffin 39 Delta. Catwick, uh, Director, have a good day, EC5, Tango, Quebec, Julia. EC5, Tango, Quebec, Gatwick, Director, hello. Uh, expected ILS approach runway 26 left with no delay. Descend now, flight level 70, and leave timber heading 360 degrees. Descend 70, leave timber 360 degrees.
and Bilbao traffic whiz to its seventh goal on the Santander 3 Zulu approach inbound runway 1 2 now descending 3,500 feet from flight level 350. And so we're just about to pass flight level 100 and we'll make sure we've got our fixed rings in for the end just because it really helps out with that sim. I don't tend to do it otherwise because there's not really much need for it but it helps out with visualising how far the runway is if you can't look at your. Uh, we don't have the chance to look at your PFD or whatever um, to look, find the DME. Um, so it would just draw essentially a radius around the runway. I don't know if you can see those blue rings there on the navigation display. Um, so, yeah, when we hit the first one, we'll say, you know, our call sign 10 miles runway, whatever it is, I can't remember. So it just helps out, it's a little pilot aid. Uh, I'd recommend putting them in if you don't already in your flight sim. It is unfortunately a unicorn landing today. I do enjoy a bit of ATC, um, but we are sort of going build out and they don't tend to get a lot of coverage. It's all stick on unicorn. Here we are, so we're just sort of going over the bay now and we'll reduce speed to zero zero knots because we are approaching the 10 mile fixed ring. Bilbao traffic whiz to it, seven golf is eight miles, runway one two.
your bow traffic with 287 Golf is or DME when we want to short fire. Bilbao traffic with 287 Golf has vacated runway 1 2 to the left on Charlie 1 and is now taxiing stand 4 via Charlie 1, Tango 1, Tango 2, Tango 3, and Alpha 2. Bilbao.
whining you might have been able to hear on the outside of the aircraft is the brake fans going just because the uh, it's hot here in Bilbao and the brakes are, I can imagine, pretty warm after that. And there we are, just shutting down the engine now, securing the aircraft, and uh, the rest done. And there we are, that's a two hour flight done in about 30 40 minutes. So, if you did enjoy this video, do make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video that is pushed out on YouTube. Anyways, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video.